Well, hello everybody. So, just giving you a little bit of a catch up of what's been happening. So, just got back from Europe, did a trip over in Ireland and Scotland, uh, rented a camper van. It was a very interesting experience driving on the other side of the road in a camper van that was a manual. Took some time to get used to that video will actually be coming up later. I just wanted to give you an update to what's been happening. Now that I have taken two or three weeks off, I am very excited and very into getting this, this bus cleaned up, uh, projects finished. The video today is actually getting some projects done. Uh, battery bank, other aesthetics with the bus, going to start painting. Uh, where I'm at right now, we're actually getting ready to do some, some woodwork. So I'm going to finish the woodwork. I will be showing the bus at the bus fair uh, up in Oak Ridge, Oregon. That's going to be the 8th of June. So just trying to get this thing uh, ready to go. I'm going to be producing a lot of videos now, now that I'm back on the road. Uh, a lot more live videos, so I appreciate everybody's patience. Uh, the time off was definitely needed. It was to the point where I didn't even want to look at my email. I didn't want to do anything with the bus. Now that I'm rested, ready to get back after it, going to be producing a lot more content. So thank you to everybody. If you do have any particular questions for me about the bus, what I'm doing, what I'm up to, uh, leave that in the comments down below. I'll be doing, like I said, some some live videos. So. I'm going to finish editing this video. Today is Tuesday, so it's going to be coming out Wednesday. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we will catch you soon. I am currently at my friend Billy's. He does some metal work. Actually, I'll show you right over here. He's the one that helped me make this. So once I get the bus painted, these will be stainless steel on the side. Uh, apparently it messed up a little bit right there in the bottom, so he wanted to redo it. Also, what I might have him do is do some custom metal work in here, just some small things, for example. Um, up where the solar comes in, just make a metal sheath that goes up over there, and then I can just screw that into the wall and unscrew it if I need to add more solar or whatever. So waiting on Billy to get here, but more importantly, I'll show you something pretty cool. Kobe's! Got Kobe's back. Got my buddy boy back. We got one more day here in Hot Phoenix. I'm gonna be working with Billy today, then later tonight I'm gonna to be heading up to Flagstaff. There's the Overland Expo, which I will go to, see if I can get some filming done, as well as a video tour with a young lady named Sarah. Uh, she has a camper van, I'm gonna film her rig, uh, possibly shoot a podcast uh, with her, and then over to Vegas to work with Wonderboom to get some woodwork done, but we will get into that later so yeah just waiting on Billy to get here gonna go inside hang out it's a little bit cooler a um, little bit cooler for Kobuck uh, one of the big projects with Wonder Boom I'll go ahead and say that is get the AC head unit in that way I can get the AC going and then test the solar capacity all right so back to work on the bus what's going on Billy what's up man so what you got going on there just making a template so we can cap in this area right here we're gonna cover this all out of stainless to kind of match what he's got for the hot water here, right? Absolutely. Here? Yeah. yeah. Some, something. Well, that's the uh, back there is going to be the diesel heater. That's going to be the. I didn't do a furnace. I'm just going to do a uh, dry heat through that, and then that'll also heat the radiant floor heating. Oh, sweet. So that's in that box right there. Another project. A project another day. Then I'm back here getting these batteries out because we are going to make a tray for the batteries. Uh, they were just moving around. They were not really held in by anything. I definitely should have got this done earlier. But what we're going to do, well, right now, we'll see how it plays out. But uh, make three separate trays for the three different banks. And then those will screw into the floor. And it'll just be held in by that tray. And then the batteries won't move around anymore. And it'll be nice to get down in here regardless and get this all cleaned up. And the last thing on the list, for those who have been watching for a little bit, you know that Billy has a plasma cutter. So I'm gonna make one more of these. So once the uh, the paint goes on, have a nice stainless uh, Zeppelin II plate on the side, as well as the original uh, logo Billy did, that's gonna go on the front once we get it all painted. Uh, still trying to get with Wes and see if he's available to help me paint. He has a whole painting set up with his bus and we're gonna be meeting up uh, probably about a, month from now we'll see so what you got going on there just drawing up this template that we made 
in the van, put in an AutoCAD so that I can cut this shape out. And then we'll make a little bend right down the center here. And we'll have our piece because it should slip right in. That easy, huh? That easy, that's it. Well, you mentioned van. The van no, not the van, the bus. <laughs> Use the old, old school van. Yeah. The Zep. So first time Bill and I worked together was on Zeppelin one for those that don't know. And that was my camper van back seven, eight years ago now. That was a long time. That's crazy <laughs> to think that that was that long ago, man. Getting older. Thanks. Yeah. For real. <laughs> So finishing up here at Billy's, we have the new logo. One's going on the driver's side, one's passenger. You have the darker metal here, which works fine for me. Also, this is what's gonna be going up over the uh, spice rack, Velcro for the bottom to hold it in place, and then stainless screws to hold it in. So it's gonna go right up there. Every damn state I'm after Said I don't want to wait no more yeah, I don't want to wait no more Spy van with a pop of tan Yeah, let a name like Big Red Never have to pay the rent Yeah, that a